Notifications are a key feature in iOS, but if you don't know how to correctly manage them, they can actually become pretty annoying for you and those around you. To view all your notifications when your device is unlocked, swipe down from the top edge of the display. When your device is locked, swipe up from the center portion of the display to view your lock screen notifications. Notifications seen on the lock screen can be different than those that you see when your device is unlocked, depending on their settings. To manage your notifications, jump into the Settings app and the Notifications section. First here we have a Global Previews option for notifications. A preview will display some details of the notification, like the first line of a text message or the headline of a news article. Switch this to Never, and now when I view my notifications, no details are provided. We're just given how many notifications there are. Switch to the When Unlocked option, and if I view the notifications from the home screen, the previews will appear. Lock this device, however, and now the details are again limited. Applying these preview rules universally is probably overkill for most of us. But we can turn preview on and off for each individual app down here in the notification style settings. So I'm going to look at the settings for the messages app. At the top here, we can turn all notifications for this app off. This is the quick and easy way to stop an app from pestering you with notifications. For finer control, we can adjust many more settings below. Currently for messages, all three alert styles are on. So when a new message comes in and the device is locked, it'll appear on the lock screen, in Notification Center, and as a banner alert. So I'm going to lock the iPhone and go back to the home screen of the iPad, then send over a text message to those devices. The alert appears on the lock screen of the iPhone and on the iPad drops down as a banner alert. Tap and hold on either of these to reply right from the alert. Ignore the alert and the text is going to remain in Notification Center where I can again tap and hold to reply. If you'd rather not see alerts from the Messages app on your lock screen, just uncheck the lock screen option here in Settings. We can do the same with Notification Center or Banners. Tap Banner Style and we can switch to a persistent banner. This just means that you need to interact with the banner. It's not going to slide away on its own. Tap and hold on it to reply, or just single tap to view it in the Messages app, or to get rid of the alert, just swipe up. Next, we can set if an alert sound is made and what sound that will be. As I try different options, that sound is previewed. Deactivate badges for an app and the red circle with the number of alerts for the app will no longer appear on that app's icon. I have a badge on the mail app letting me know that there's one unread message. If I turn badges off for the iCloud email account here in settings, the red circle on the mail icon will be removed. Down in the options section, we can set the preview options for just the Messages app. This is one app where you might definitely want to only show previews when unlocked, so previews of your text don't pop up on your lock screen for all around to see. Next, we can set the notification grouping style. Notice here on the iPhone that the notifications from the News app are appearing in separate groups. One for articles from National Geographic, and the other for those from the Washington Post. This is because the News app is set to group automatically. If it were set to group only by the app, 
these would all appear in a single group. For the Messages app, automatically will separate groups of notifications by recipient. So you might see a group of five message notifications from John and a group of three from Jane. Switch this off and each notification is going to be presented individually, no grouping at all. And finally here we can set notifications for a certain app to repeat at two minute intervals. Obviously, these are going to be for alerts that you really don't want to miss. From within Notification Center, we can view and manage the notifications. At the top here, I have a group of notifications about National Geographic articles in the News app. Tap on the group and the notifications expand so I can view them individually. Tap on one, and that's going to jump me into the News app. Swipe left on a notification, and we can clear only that one notification. Tap View, and I get a preview of this article and options to go read it, save it for later, or share it. Tapping Manage provides the option to deliver notifications from the News app quietly, turn them off altogether, or tap on Settings to manage the News App notifications in the Settings app. Swipe right on a notification and we get an Open button that will launch the News App. This is pretty much the same as tapping on the notification. Tap on the Show Less button to regroup these News App notifications. When grouped, we can still swipe left to manage, view, or clear all the notifications in the group. This close button at the top of Notification Center will clear all the visible notifications. Now let's go back to the Manage button for the News App notifications and tap the Deliver Quietly button. Doing this will cause the News App notifications to only appear here in Notification Center. That's it. No alert sound, badge icon, and it's not going to appear on the lock screen. This is a good quick option for an app that might be sending you a lot of notifications, and you don't want your iPhone or iPad making a sound or vibrating every time that that occurs. But you also don't want to completely stop getting those notifications. We can undo all this with one tap as well by going back to the Deliver Prominently options. So managing your notifications in iOS can really make the experience of using your device less distracting and more efficient by only getting the alerts that you want from the apps that you want.